Hang on, we've got another mound over there cutting right across the valley. But we've already seen a terminal moraine over there. Let's go investigate what this one is. This is the recessional moraine. It's a rigid material that cuts across the valley, much in the same way as our terminal moraine did earlier. Now, terminal moraine marks the maximum extent that the glacier advanced during the last glaciation. Now, when climatic conditions improve and get a little bit warmer, the glaciers begin to retreat. They might stop when they're retreating, and we call that a still stand. And that is where we get recessional moraines forming. Now, what is a still stand? It's when accumulation equals ablation. Now, they're two brand new terms, and I need to explain them to you. Now, up in the highlands, we get accumulation. And accumulation is where glaciers grow. And they grow because of two prerequisites. And those two prerequisites are low temperatures and high levels of precipitation. Whereas down here, in the lowlands, we get ablation. And that's where glaciers melt. And again, that's because of two prerequisites. This time, it's higher temperatures and lower levels of precipitation. When accumulation and ablation balance out and they're in equilibrium, we get a still stand. And that is when we'll get a recessional moraine forming where we get this ridge of glacial till that cuts right across the valley.